Hi everybody, today's January 27th, 2013. Another sign of magnetic pole flip, in my opinion. They know that the magnetic pole is rapidly accelerating in its movement. Here in just 9 to 10 years, the radon levels coming from the ground have increased more than tenfold. Radon level high in Oregon. A new study by Portland State University geology professor Scott Burns and a team of students has discovered high levels of radon in the Portland area, according to the Oregonian. Burns and his team looked at radon tests from 33,000 homes in the Portland area, which is 10 times more than the last round of tests in 2003. The United States Environmental Protection Agency reports that radon is estimated to cause thousands of lung cancer deaths in the U.S. each year. Radon is a gas that can't be smelled or tasted. The EPA warns if you smoke and your home has high radon levels, your risk of lung cancer is extremely high. Fortunately, testing for your home for radon is easy and inexpensive. Inexpensive for who? People that have money, evidently. Writing for the Oregonian, Scott Lean notes that radon risk in the Portland area is higher because of granite-infused sediment washed into the region from the Missoula flood during the last ice age. The granite-infused sediment is said to be relatively high in uranium, and radon is a byproduct of uranium's breakdown. It's a geological hazard that can be dealt with cheaply, Professor Burns told the newspaper. We need to reduce the amount of radiation in our lives, and this is one way of doing it. Why don't they think about reducing the radiation that's coming from Japan, Fukushima, all the way across the ocean? Some things you can prevent, and some things you cannot. Burns and his students found that in one in every four houses in the Portland area accumulates radon above the level the EPA says is safe. The EPA recommends fixing your home if your radon level is four pica curies per liter or higher. However, the EPA also points out that radon levels less than four pica curies per liter is still poses a risk and usually can be reduced further. According to the Oregonian, Burns found zip codes with higher or moderate average levels of radon at 79%, which is up from the 69% in 2003. The new study also revealed high levels in a few unexpected areas, including parts of Banks, Borings, Clackamas, Gladstone, Lake Oswego, Newburgh, Sandy, Sovie Island, Sherwood, and Wilson View. People were not here during the last magnetic pole flip, so scientists really don't know what to expect. They do know that prior to a pole, magnetic pole flip, that there is an increase in earthquakes, volcanic activity, and the continents actually moved. You heard me right. Whole continents moved. So if they're acquiring data of higher radon gases in areas that they call surprising, I think it would indicate a potential for one large earthquake. They also knew that they are overdue for a large earthquake, a nine-pointer or greater. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep everyone up to date. Please stay safe. People should always be prepared for a disaster. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.